We took a client of ours from zero to 1K days in sales using TikTok ads. And I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how in this video by covering the strategy that was used, the structure of the campaign, and the types of ads that you can create in TikTok to shorten the actual cycle to be able to start generating sales within a short period of time. That way you can literally launch with a budget of $100 and literally see sales of $1,000 plus per day and be able to scale up and achieve six, seven, and eight figure years. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. My name is Chase Chapel, and at our agency, we've been managing some of the largest brands in the world over the last seven years. We advise on over $200 million in ad spend for thousands of actual clients of ours in our actual trainings, where we actually go through, show you how to set up TikTok ads and Facebook ads, so that way you can generate sales and results. So this is the TikTok ads manager, and literally from the time of launch, uh, being at literally zero conversions and only having spent 44 cents this day, to just a few days later, doing 16 conversions at $200 in daily ad spend and literally generating over $1,000 in sales every single day. And the way we were able to achieve this and actually get this growth and be able to scale from 78 to 139 to 200 is by actually having the right creatives in place, using the structure of the right audiences, getting the actual spend to deliver and knowing exactly what kind of offer to structure in order to get really solid conversions. And so let's go ahead and look at the campaign breakdown. So here we are with the campaign and the average return on ad spend is a 4.66. You can see from the four audiences here, a 5.5 X ROAS. Like that's pretty incredible if you think about it, especially for TikTok being such a relatively new platform for ads and a lot of advertisers hopping onto the platform. Other audiences were doing a 3.8, 3.99, 5.25x ROAS, which is really amazing and is very scalable. So you could easily go from 20 daily spend to 100 daily spend to 200 daily spend. Even 300 daily spend is very achievable just with that return and ad spend before it actually starts to diminish. And what's really cool is how the campaign was actually structured is very simple. It's four audiences, so that way it's not too many. The budgets are set on the actual ad set level. And this allows us to identify which audiences are gonna perform best, which creatives are gonna actually work, what's gonna generate the best ROIs. You can see that these two audiences here have about a 3.8 and a 3.9. So the ones that are at 5.5 and 5.2 are actually performing really well, and that could be due to the actual audience itself. And so all of the budgets were set to $20 daily, and literally from day one, once we started seeing conversions, as you saw earlier, scaled up the budgets. Went from 20 to, you know, literally 100, where it was 100 daily, and started hitting 1K days pretty immediately. And not only that, but even from the spend being tracked in here in the actual return and ad spend, the attribution is also off in terms of how many sales are actually being shown here. There's actually a lot of sales that are actually missed by this as well. And the reason we know this is because this client is not running any actual ads on any other platforms, isn't doing any other promotional efforts other than running TikTok ads. So it's very clear where the sales are actually coming from. So this was, you know, an actual true beginning from zero to a thousand dollar sales days from TikTok ads. Because a lot of times people see a TikTok ad, they'll view it and they'll actually go to Google and make the purchase. So a lot of times that doesn't actually get factored in here. And so these numbers are actually even better than they're being shown here. And these return on ad spend, it's pretty good. So the first audience is an open audience. That means no targeting at all. That is simply leaving it up to the algorithm. The algorithm is pretty effective at understanding what time to show the video to get somebody to convert. I'm sure you see how long and how much time people spend on the TikTok app daily already because the algorithm is so effective. So you can only imagine how fast the actual algorithm for the ad side is going to be and how good it's going to get with time. More and more now we are seeing better results with clients, understanding the exact strategies that work and following the actual data and principles behind why these things should actually be generating sales. We don't leave it up to luck. We don't leave it up to fate. We focus on the truth and actually pay attention to the numbers so that way we can fully understand what's going to be driving conversions. Not only that, but we got a really low cost per click here. We're looking at 20 cents per click. So that's going to be driving a lot of traffic and getting a lot of individuals that we could actually build up for a retargeting audience down the road. And then our CPMs are also really low. This is a key factor here. You want a low CPM because you're gonna reach a lot of individuals. You can have a high CPM and get sales. You can have a high CPM and have a really good return announcement. You can have a high CPM and scale very effectively. But if you have a low CPM and can still achieve all the other things, you're only getting more out of it because you have a lot more awareness, a lot more volume from search coming in here. And a lot of people just discovering the brand, even though they might not purchase, 
but you actually being able to get the benefits of both. So if you can get a really low cost per click, you're gonna have the traffic, you're gonna have the reach, and you're gonna be able to, you know, get a really good conversion rate if you have the right ads and audiences in place. And this is exactly the perfect formula because all of these metrics are healthy. And even the click-through rates, could be a little bit higher, but you know, at 1.16 and just averaging around a one click through rate, like that's totally fine because it's driving a good amount of sales. And you can see we've already scaled up to 100 daily on each of these. So this is already a campaign that is at, you know, over $400 per day in just a matter of, you know, less than a week time. So you can see how effective this strategy is once you understand what's really working. Now, Here's how the audience breakout is. One is structured by actually allowing TikTok to choose the audiences for us. You just select all, it's very simple. TikTok will literally scan the keywords in your ads, listen to the video, and pull in all of the actual audiences it thinks it should target. It's a general interest, it's not purchase intention. We could probably test purchase intention as well, just to see how it performs, but we let the actual uh, TikTok recommendation list be applied here, US, age 18 plus. And this is a fitness item, by the way, it's a fitness product in the actual fitness niche. So we can target audiences like sports and stuff like that too. Then the third audience we have here is another stack of interest where we're going after, you know, different spaces than this one. So it's a little bit different. You can see the audience sizes are definitely, you know, broad. They're 29 uh, million, but it's actually falling in the balance category. And that's the category you want to be in for the actual available audiences, which is really nice because you can get really solid scale out of these, especially, you know, very quickly. Like we literally scaled from 20 daily on each of these all the way up to 100 daily on each of these very fast and achieving a really solid return in ad spend. But not only that, we could easily add another zero to all of these here pretty soon if the results continue to hold. Now for the fourth audience here, this is also done by hashtags this time. So this is all hashtags and actual videos of where there's lots of views on a video that uses a hashtag. We're able to target those specific videos, which is a very effective strategy with TikTok if you understand exactly what works and if you know which hashtags to go after. And it's no surprise that this would be a 5.5x, you know, actual ROAS because the audience is so factored in and so focused on that specific, you know, actual item where it's very common for people to actually be interested in this and the product because they watch videos that are very related to it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have hashtags, make sure to have a lot of them because some of them may drop in views because it's entirely based off the actual engagement and view volume. They don't stick around forever. So once the people have viewed the videos and they're no longer engaging with a specific hashtag anymore, you're definitely going to see your audience size decrease. So if it says it starts at 47 million, you could check back in a week and it might be like 20 million. So definitely keep that in mind. There is going to be fluctuations in this, so it is going to be harder to scale. Now, if we go and actually pay attention to some of these other things, one, testing no comments against comments. That's another thing that you could actually see. It looks like, you know, overall that they're still working either way, but that's a good thing to actually test. No comments means people can't comment on the video and it's just, you know, all they can do is actually like or click to purchase. The other thing is, is if you have comments, it could help if people are like all raving about the product, super excited saying they purchased it, that's gonna drive credibility, drive more volume. And if there's questions, you can answer them there. But if there's a lot of negative comments and you know people are just saying things that actually have no relevance, then it's not gonna benefit you and it could actually hurt results. So definitely test both. Then let's get into the actual ad level here. And we tested about five ads. Definitely recommend sticking to you know roughly two ads to begin with if you are wanting to test a lot of creatives. But you can have up to five if you have creatives that are actually TikTok driven. What I mean by that is actual TikTok videos that look like they're on the feed and don't look like ads. And that's because a lot of times creators will, you know, in brands will add a bunch of videos in their actual ad account and they can't even run the actual campaigns and get spin behind it because there's just too many ads to deliver to and there's not enough budget behind it. So you're gonna have to watch, you know, this video on how to fix your spin delivery if you haven't already, because that's definitely gonna help you get delivery. And you'll also notice that really only one ad here is the one that's driving all of the sales. This was at a 5.75 ROAS just in those four days, which is incredible. And we already have a clear winner in this audience. The other ones don't even need to get spent because this one's just crushing it. And if this one starts to die down, now we can actually find more videos related to what this video is about so that way we can launch it. Now I'm not gonna show the actual video to you know, fully reveal what uh, the actual product is, but what I will share is specifically, it's a video about you know uh, the person is actually going through the activity of using the product and there's a voice overlay explaining it throughout the video and they're talking about a special offer, a discount, getting it today, adding scarcity, so that way people actually go and buy. And it's a special TikTok offer, so that way people know that you know it's specific to them, and it's driving a lot more click-throughs, and individuals actually converting because of that. If we are to look at these other audiences as well, we can see if that 
ad is also still the winner. And as you can see, this ad is also pulling in all of the sales as well. So there's out of five ads, really just one ad is actually producing the uh, results. And this is a key point because if you have other ads and they're not getting any sales, well, you could have launched four ads and nothing got purchases, but that fifth ad that you created is the one and it changes everything. We see this all the time where literally we just had a client account at our agency. They were getting under a actual 1X ROAS and it had been like this for many months. And once we actually found the actual creative and audience structure that made the most sense for them, literally overnight, I'm not even kidding, overnight, the results changed. It went from getting just a few purchases a day to averaging five, six, seven, eight purchases per day very quickly and getting a ROAS above a 2.5 daily for an entire week, which is really nice and these things do happen. So definitely make sure to test creatives, have the offers, show the product. Don't do like, you know, you don't want these boring review style ads where somebody's just talking to a camera about like their experience. It's not gonna get as many sales. You wanna make sure that the person is actually going through the process of using it and having a voice overlay with a little bit of music in the background always does help. And these are proven by data. There's literally, you know, statistics on this that TikTok shares all the time. And there is text throughout the entire video highlighting each of these things. And if we were to go to reporting and we click on video insights, we can actually see the breakdown here as well. And you can literally see that we're in the green on all of these metrics and we're in the top 25%, which means we're better than 75% of all other videos in this actual space. Top 50% for, you know, lowest cost per click. And we can actually see there's a lot of green here. We have a lot of ad accounts that, you know, clients will come on and we'll see immediately that most of their stuff's in the red or it's green, red, green, red. But you know, you know, you're really doing well. If all of your metrics are somewhat, you know, in the top performing category, then that definitely means you're going to have good flow through in your funnel. You're going to get conversions. It's going to be really nice. And you can see just about, you know, one ad here is driving a 2.39% conversion rate, which is really solid because this one's, you know, producing good volume. It's scalable. It's already has a thousand dollars in spend behind it just in a matter of a few days. So definitely scaling up this account pretty quickly. Already half a million impressions for, you know, $1,700 is pretty insane to think about, uh, which is really amazing. And the CPMs are solid here. So we can definitely see the performance is there. So make sure to actually look into your reporting, see what categories you're in the top performing. You know, you wanna be as close as you can and try to get as much green as possible because that's actually gonna allow you to drive better results. Now, I just broke down the actual structure of the campaign that was launched and within just a few days, being able to generate $1,000 in sales per day from not very much spend at all, if you really think about the return and the profitability of this. And I have a challenge for you. I want you to go ahead and actually start taking action so that way you can start generating results like these too, because the action takers are definitely the money makers. We have students like Thomas here, who literally has scaled from, you know, 60 to 150K per month in sales and is on track to do a 200K month just in a matter of, you know, 60 days time from actually joining our ads mastery one-on-one -on -one program where he literally started working with us and one-on-one -on -one we started going through his account with him and he scaled up very quickly. And now the only reason he's not scaling even further is literally due to not wanting to sell out all of his inventories so quickly. So as he continues to build up his inventory, he's gonna be able to scale at an unimaginable pace, hitting 200, 300, 400K months. Or like author Anne-Marie here, who went from 30K months to 150K plus months as well. This is very common and is very doable if you understand the data behind your actual ads and understand how to actually scale your account to you know, be able to not only achieve profitability, but actually get scale out of it so that way you can see the results that you desire. And Thomas and Amy didn't just get lucky. They definitely put in the work and actually focused on the action items that they needed. They followed the strategies, optimized their account, structured it, tested the right creatives, and actually scaled up their overall results and are now maintaining you know, good sales volume and are completely able to scale even further as long as they have the inventory available. So if you follow proven strategies, you can definitely see results you know, like these if you understand your product, the audience, and the creative, and the offer you have. And these are the exact things we cover inside of my Ads Mastery one-on-one -on -one mentorship, where we literally teach and train individuals and businesses on how to actually structure their ads, how to optimize them, how to scale, how to do the exact things we're talking about in this video and achieve, you know, record results in such a short time frame. And we only accept 10 individuals every single month because we want to put the dedicated focus on their accounts to make sure that they actually get the results. And if this sounds like something that you're actually interested in and want to speak with my actual team and myself and actually hop on the one-on-one -on -one calls, definitely make sure to book a call below to apply and see if it's the right fit for you. And if you have any specific questions, then definitely feel free to DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel on Instagram.
And at the end of the day, we want the best for our actual clients and students and every single one of you who actually watch these actual videos. So we'd really appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe because we do put a lot of effort in these videos and hope to share amazing results. So that way you can also achieve success too. It's Chase Chapel here, your favorite digital marketer. Cheers and bye y'all. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.